I'm the Model Officer and welcome to part 12 of How I Do Dioramas. So having some dried oasis left over from our church build so far, I decided that I would use this for our parachute. Simply carving out some lines for each panel of the parachute, I thought it'd be ever so easy. With a bit of primer and a sealant, um, I hope that we could just take a mould from there, but unfortunately the surface is too rough. So we've covered that again in silver foil, and that gives us a nice smooth finish. But also, it gives us the ability to have a few wrinkles within the material of the parachute. So this is my first attempt, and we're going to go through that whole process a little bit later on in this video. But first of all, let's have a quick look at the figures. So we've got our first figure, the US Airborne BAR Gunner at Rest from Sogar Miniatures. Quite a nice mould, not an awful lot of flash, and the detail is very good. So here's our second figure who's going to take centre stage, our US Lieutenant Paratrooper. Really good figure, I do like this one. The moulding is very, very good and details are superb. Again, a little bit of flash, but very, very little. Gonna have to modify him somewhat, but uh, he is one of my favourite. And here's a, a picture of our two figures temporarily put together. An awful lot of equipment on the Lieutenant and obviously a BAR in the hand of the crouching private. So the idea of the diorama is to have our lieutenant caught in his parachute in the church roof and the inspiration for these has come from these pictures of these cracking models as you can see. So going back to our lieutenant we need to manipulate the pose a little bit because as you can see by the picture at the moment he's standing and that's not going to be conducive to his final place. So using this as a guide I decided to start with his ankles first cutting a small V shape out the back of his ankles thus making sure you don't lose any detail from the laces. Remove a little bit of the plastic and then very gently manipulate the foot into an angle as you can see here. Next we went on to his left arm because as you can remember from the picture it sits on his reserve chute and this isn't conducive to him hanging in the eaves. So using this as a guide again, cutting the arm at the elbow couple of holes to be drilled and a little bit of wire to be placed inside you can see we've roughly got the right position downside is the hand is not definitely not in the right position so cutting that hand off just above the glove again drilling two holes add a little bit of wire you can then manipulate it to this particular shape lastly we need to look at the way the head is positioned this would require major surgery. Cutting the hairline forward to just underneath his chin, remove the head completely. Drill two holes, add a little bit of wire, and then manipulate to the, the angle in which I wanted his head to droop. I just wanted a subtle, subtle droop. As you can see from this picture, I've managed to achieve the head at the right angle that I want. His left arm is now drooped to, on his side, and his ankles are pointing down. So just before we get to priming stage, maybe a good idea to put the straps on for his parachute. So here you can see the two straps either side placed on. They're actually PE straps that you can buy. Not 100% perfect, but they'll suffice for what I need. And just to give you an idea of how it will look inside the church once we've got him in place. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the parachute, and for this we're going to use these products here. We've got uh, the PVA glue, some water, some tissue paper, and of course our mould that we've already made from dryosis. So let's crack on. So really easy, equal amounts of PVA glue and water. Mix it up thoroughly, and then literally just lay on our tissue paper and brush away. And 
what I found was as we add on the tissue paper try not to stretch it too much because you can create holes quite easily even though the surface is fairly smooth we've still got those wrinkles etc and we want to get it into our grooves of our parachute as well don't worry too much if you do tear it you can always come back to that so we're just going to go around with the tissue paper just put one coat on for now yeah you're going to get some overlap but that's that's okay it's not a problem So as we spin it round, I can see there's a couple of tears here and there. And what I want to do is work that into those grooves. And then we'll come back to those tears. We'll just add a little piece in over the tear. Not that it's overly important, but there's a couple of reasonably big tears that I want to cover. Now we're not going to wait for that for dry, what we're going to do is just crack on with a second layer of tissue paper. This time we're going to be a little bit more methodical about how we put it on. Slightly smaller pieces and just work our way around the mould. So the bottom here I'm going to use a long piece where I've cut the tops into little sections and I'm going to spread the glue around folding in each of the pieces I've cut so that's our first stage done two layers of the tissue paper and PVA and water mix as you can see just a nice coating all the way over and now we're ready for our next stage. So on to our next stage. For this we're going to use some very thin wire, a 0.15mm in diameter. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a suspension line. So we're going to go straight over the canopy and we're going to allow for 20 centimeters drop on either side. So we're going to cut our wire into strips of 72 centimeters in length and then we're just going to go over the top of the canopy making sure we place our wires in the grooves that we've already made. Now pre-warn you this is a bit of a tricky exercise as I found out because there isn't really anywhere to hook the wire to and you don't really want to bend the wire because it, it's difficult to get it straight afterwards. So to achieve this what I've done is I pre-cut some small pieces of masking tape and as I suspended the lines over the parachute, I've tagged down each end with a bit of masking tape. Bit of a fiddly job, but hopefully it'll give us the effect we want. So we're all done now, and this is how it will look. But don't move anything quite yet. What we need to do is we're going to repeat the process we've already made and add just another two layers of the tissue paper on top. Once you've done that, this is how it will look. On this particular picture, I have actually separated the lines into their groupings for the harness. So I think now's the moment to call time on this particular episode. The parachute's come along really well and our figures have got a lot of work. 
with only two more episodes left in this series, please make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon. And keep those comments coming. I can't tell you how grateful I am for all the comments and feedback I've had all the way through the series. So please, please make sure you carry on doing so. Anyway, that's me for now. I'm off for a cup of coffee. Thank you so much for your time. Until next week.